right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where today we are going to be delivering the oil rig. <laughs> I almost call it the oil field. Uh, but we are going to be delivering the oil rig drill. Uh, so something very important. This is not the oversized one that I had originally thought it was. I hate this pickup point. I don't know if they did this on purpose or what. But like trying to get a trailer here is just annoying and I never remember. I never remember that I gotta be facing this direction to be able to do it. Uh, but anyways, so we gotta throw on... I'm... I'm kind of tempted to try a different trailer. Uh, that one just seems too low. This seems like a nice road trailer but uh yeah we're just gonna have to do our tried and true method or or our tried and true trailer um to get the job done so uh but yeah we're gonna be following pretty much the exact same path that we followed in the last episode where we have to go all the way from uh this garage to the oil field in uh, Zimogorsk so it's gonna be a uh, a nice long track so let's uh, let's get over there and uh, yeah let's let's go pick up our cargo <clears throat> now I'm hoping this isn't going to take nearly as long as it did in the last episode so Fingers crossed it, 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 it won't. Uh, and there we go. All five slots slapped onto the back of this beast. And we're going to have a... Uh, a sister truck. The uh, Targa is going to be our fuel companion. I'm... I don't want to risk not having it. Uh, just because it is a long trek, we will have a fuel stop once we get off this map. Actually, technically, we have a fuel stop on this map. Maybe we won't need it. You know what? I'm, I'm, uh, it's right there. <laughs> the take is right there. We could drag it with us. We could be good to go. And... And yeah, we could uh, not risk it, but I think I'm gonna risk it. I'm I'm gonna risk it big. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do it without it. We're gonna leave it there just in case. That will be the uh, supply truck if we do run out of fuel. And I might regret not taking those five gallons when we passed it, but you know what? Let's uh, let's see what this truck can do. Uh, this this rig doesn't seem to be overly too heavy. It, it's not really slowing us down at all, especially going uphill. So I think we'll be pretty safe. I think we'll be good. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it right now. We're gonna be fine. Uh, fingers crossed. I hope I'm correct. But uh, yeah. Anyways, this is actually if you are watching this at the. Uh, time that I released it. This will actually be released on a Thursday. Um, I could release it late tonight. I'm actually filming this at about 9 o'clock at night. I could get it processed and uploaded, but it probably won't upload until 11.30ish, I would guess. Yeah, probably 11.30. Um, so I'm just going to upload it on a Thursday. This is the first time I've ever missed my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule uh, for this game. Uh, it's it's a little I don't know. It's a little heartbreaking for me. I I've been able to make my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule for the over the last year, and unfortunately, I just I was so busy this week that I just did not have time. This is actually my Technically, this was supposed to be my first day off in the last three weeks, but I ended up having to do a lot of running around and errands and things of that nature. So 
I, uh, yeah, I just, I finally got home tonight and, uh, yeah, started recording and, and unfortunately it's just the way it is, but I will, uh, I will continue my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule, uh, for this game and then also doing my farm simulator on the weekends. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping my, uh, time clears up a little bit and I can do a Saturday, Sunday, uh, episodes for uh, Farming Simulator, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think if uh, if you guys are liking that series or if you're liking this series or, you know, if you want to see another series, I'm completely up for that. Um, let me know. I'll, uh, I'll probably uh, pick up the game and start playing it on the, the channel, so um, I'm also didn't go this way and I said I should have. Why did I go this way? I guess it really doesn't matter. It's fine. <laughs> it, it all gets us to the same way. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'm completely up to playing the games that you guys would request. I have no problem with that. They might be shorter series, um, depending on the game. And if I enjoyed it, then I might turn it, in, turn it into a longer series. Uh, but yeah, I want to. I want to kind of start branching out. Um, I know there's. I know there's gaming channels out there that basically play one game, and that's all you ever see. And I'm. I'm not. I'll watch them sometimes, depending on the game, or if I'm just using it as a review of the game to see how it is. Um, I know I, I. I don't overly like it when they just play like, oh, a little bit of the game. And I'm really into it, and then it turns out that they just stop playing it, and you're like, oh, now what do I do? Like, I gotta go find somebody else to watch it, so... Um, I just like to uh, keep my options open, and... Uh, yeah, I wanna, you know... Play a game. If I don't like the game, then I'll... I'll I, I might put it on the channel, and then just play a couple episodes of it, and, and tell you that I hate it, and I don't ever want to play it again, and... And that will be that, so... Um, I think that may have happened with with uh, Mud Runner, or uh, not Mud Runner. Sorry, Expeditions. I don't understand what happened to that game. I really don't. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played it, but um, I don't know. It just wasn't it wasn't as fun and interesting as this game is, which kind of seems weird to say, but. Um, it, it still blows my mind at how slow of a pace of a game this is, but yet it's still enjoyable and fun to do. Uh, and I think that's why I like it so much, is because it's just completely opposite of any other game that I've ever played. So let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit this up for 14 gallons. We, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about missing the Tega and not uh, filling up our, our fuel. We probably could have gotten away with not going to this tank or this uh, this station, but you know what? I don't want to risk it. I, th I think we can make it, and that's that's how we're going to do it, is every gas station we, we pass, we fill up. Well, not everyone, because there is one in the... Uh, there is a fuel station in the... Uh, the quarry that uh, we're gonna pass because it's I, I think we'll have maybe maybe have used 10 gallons so it's not really worth stopping there uh, although I might have to bite my tongue about that but we'll uh, we'll find out <clears throat> I had originally when I started this episode and kind of planned it out I had completely decided to use uh, a backup vehicle to bring fuel and we would just drag them together uh, but then again I also thought that this was the uh, the drilling rig that was its own trailer and so I had actually started recording this episode got all the way to pick it up and then realized oh it's uh it's the one where I need to bring a trailer so I ended up having to uh, start over the episode and uh, bring a trailer before I picked it up so uh, but anyways let's head off to the quarry so far so good we are going much faster than we did last episode I'm not really sure why 
I know we were bring, pulling two, uh, two vehicles. And we had, uh, what was it? It was, uh, four spare vehicle parts. And then, uh, two slabs of concrete. So, that concrete's pretty heavy, but I didn't think it, uh... I don't think it should have slowed us down this much, but... Yeah, you never know. This one, I feel like we're definitely going to be doing another mission this episode, so... But let's bypass that. Let's say goodbye to free fuel. And let's let's hope we can make it to the oil fields with the fuel that we have in this tank, so... I think we're okay. I think we're okay. But you never know. Usually when I think we're okay, then that's usually when I screw up. <laughs> and then we're not, so... But I guess that's what makes it entertaining. Alright, so here's a nice little... Nice little stream going across the road. That's no problem for this truck. I don't even think... I don't even think there's mud at the bottom of that. It may just be water over the road. It really does not slow us down whatsoever. Well, a little bit. It does a little bit, but... And there's a giant hole in the ground. And a rock slide that we... We had to clear off this rock slide, and... It was kind of... Pointless, because... It literally just removed a little bit of stuff. We didn't even come close to getting the, the large part of that rock slide out of the way, so... I don't know. It's, it is it, it is what it is. It's fine. Here's a nice little mud puddle. And there's the, uh, the big old quarry there, so... And then just like that, we are, uh, we are almost done with the, uh, quarry map. This one is, uh, a very narrow map. Very tall, but narrow, so... I'm glad... I'm glad we don't have to drive from like the south of this map to the north of the map. Cause that's uh that would make for a very, very long, long drive. So I'm sure we'll end up with maps in uh the expansions that uh that will be like that, and so we'll we, we will have long drives that we're gonna have to do. That will be uh that will be interesting. Um, I'm actually kind of getting excited about going off to, uh, is it Kola Peninsula? Kola? Yeah, Kola. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, yeah, Kola Peninsula, so... Anyways. That will be, that will be fun, because that will be 100% new maps. Maps I haven't even seen yet, and I haven't looked them up, I haven't... You know, Googled anything about them. I don't even know what we do. I probably could read on uh, Steam about what is entailed with those maps. You know, whether or not it's the, uh, what is it? The, uh, ooh, you know what? Ah, sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to sidetrack here for a second. I'm going to drag this trailer. Oh. Uh, yeah, we gotta go that way, so yeah, we'll drag it closer to the, uh, to the trailer store. It's, it's a little pointless, but let's get it out of the, uh, the trigger there for when we come across the, uh, come across the map there, so. Uh, but yeah, so what was I saying? I, I totally forgot what I was saying before I interrupted myself. Uh, you know what? That's okay. I, uh, I think I was talking about, uh, the new maps and maybe possibly looking into, uh, what the expansions might have in store for us. Uh, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning towards just going for it and seeing what happens. Like, why not, right? Like, I, I it's almost like watching a trailer. You know how you, when you, uh see a new movie come out and you watch the trailer and then you go see the movie and you're like all right so everything good about this movie any joke that was told any scene that made any sense was uh was basically all from the trailer like the entire movie could have just been the trailer and and that would have been it whoa oh no don't you 
We are snagged on the stupid log. And, uh... Yeah, the truck does not want to break free. Come on. I should have ran over the log instead of trying to go around it. Oh. There we go. Maybe? Sort of? Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. Now we just got to uh, fight the current and get, uh, get moving a little faster. Come on, let's go, truck. Get some grip. Let's go. Oh, I guess we can... We can try to pull ourselves up and out. There we go. Alright. Well, that wasn't, uh... That wasn't the best way to cross that river. In fact, it was, uh, it was pretty dismal. Nice, nice steady climb up this, uh, this hill. Now this is where, whoops, I almost rolled it. Or did I? No, I did roll it. That's right. I totally forgot that I rolled it here once. I still don't understand how I did that. I, I swear I stuck to the path and it, it, it rolled us over. Anyways, what was that? That was probably three, two, two to three episodes ago, I think. Or was it? No, it was just two episodes ago. Yeah, it was. Wow, time, uh, time's really... Ah, uh, I think it's my work schedule that's, uh... Kind of wearing me out. Time's, time's flying by faster than I thought it was. Or than, than it should be, anyways. But that's always the case, right? Like, the older you get, the faster time moves, kind of thing. All right, let's just, yeah, let's bash into that tree, get that out of the way. Uh, is it better to go high gear? Uh, I know up a hill it's better. Can't really say. Why don't we uh, winch onto something and speed things up a little bit? There we go. We'll just rip everything down. Uh, let's go into auto. Build up speed, try to get through this mud. Uh, that didn't really work too well. But this truck is still... Still one of the best trucks in the game, I think. Uh, I was... I was going to buy the DLC, wasn't I? I totally forgot I was going to do that. Um, we're going to do that to start logging. And it looks like I was going to buy the Mastodon. I thought about maybe the Kenworth. Um, if anyone is watching and knows, what is the best... Do I want the best truck? I don't... You know what? Never mind. Don't tell me in the comments what the best truck is because I don't want to know what it is. I wanna, I wanna try to find it or experience myself. So, I mean, we we may be using the best truck in the game. Who knows? But I know the uh, the Kenworth. That was a good truck. And the Mastodon. That's obviously a good truck. And I did check the Mastodon. I don't know. I don't remember about the Kenworth, but the Mastodon, I believe, will do all three logs. Long, medium, and short, so that will uh, that will definitely be a plus. And maybe maybe we do something along the lines of 
we get uh, twin mastodons. And we uh, kind of do a train of, of vehicles and, and try to get the logging missions done as fast as possible. I don't know why. I still... I still... There's something about the logging missions that I just don't enjoy. I don't know if that's the right word. It's just... I, I don't look forward to doing them for some reason, so... I, I think it's due to the... Uh, the lack of a powerful enough truck. I think. I'm not, you know what? I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe I just need to do them more and, and just get used to it. I, I think it's the uh, having to do the logging in Michigan. That's what kind of threw me off logging because I did not, I did not have a truck that was even close to capable of doing a decent job logging. So if, uh, if any of you are newer watchers or newer players and are watching this, avoid logging in Michigan until you at least get to Russia. <laughs> like this truck here will probably do a decent job logging. It is a little on the slow side. So it would be, it would be nice to have a, a logging truck that was that had some speed behind it. But, um, yeah, I mean, this, this truck is slow, but it's, it sure is steady, so, uh, and it's, it's really hard to stop as we kind of almost get stopped there, so, <laughs> perfect timing, right? We just kind of keep going. Alright, I think we gotta go up that hill. Yeah, we do. All right, so not too bad. Like that was that was much much faster. Uh, so having a single truck versus the two trucks that we did a couple episodes ago. Oh no, that was last episode. Sorry, I told you my brain's a little fried right now. Uh, we, yeah, we did that in about twenty minutes. Where the other was about an hour, and probably ten minutes. So, 22 minutes versus 70 minutes, I mean, it's almost as if we could have just driven each truck individually. Uh, but then again, is that fun? Is that something you guys want to see? If it is, let me know. I mean, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do anything in this game. It's, it's pretty, uh, pretty open on my end. But let's go ahead and uh, drop off that drilling rig. And apparently we brought, brought a bunch of steel because I don't know where they got the steel from. But uh, there we go. We got 1,080 experience points, even though experience points don't matter. This is this is almost like playing whose line is it anyways, where the points don't matter and everything else is made up, right? Uh, and then we got $8,900 for our reward. So not too shabby. Let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we have for radioactive fossils. Oh, we got to go to the drowned lands for that. All right. That's, that's somewhere that we haven't been through. Uh, so that one's locked. I guess. Complete uplink. Okay. So let's do... Deliver old drilling site for a oversized cargo. All right, well, that doesn't seem too bad. Let's go ahead and let's stop this truck. Let's go ahead and uh, accept that oil rig restoration. Seismic vibrator module required. Oh, sorry, I was reading that in my head. Uh, an old oil rig around here was shut down decades ago because of the reserves were too problematic to extract. New tech means we might be able to make it work. Use seismic vibrators to see if the area holds any promise. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to scan around the area and then deliver that. 
Uh, so what do we have? We have the Tega. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That's kind of what we were going for last time. Yeah, so let's go to the global map. Let's go back to uh, the Drowned Lands. Oh, let's, uh, first of all, let's accept that mission. <laughs> that would that would make things a little bit easier. And we will uh, we'll figure out where we need to go from here. Alright, so the Tega is buried, um, although it should. There we go. Should easily be able to crawl its way out. Yep, this this truck is good to go. Okay, let's uh let's just recover it to speed things up. Let's uh throw. Now what do we need actually? Hold on one second. We're gonna need We're gonna need two trucks, aren't we? Uh you know what? Let's 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 just put the seismic vibrator on. I believe this truck oops. Uh, can handle it. What am I doing? Customize. There we go. Pushing too many buttons at once. Uh, seismic vibrator. Yes. There we go. Let's leave the garage. Now, we gotta go all the way over to the quarry, don't we? Yeah, but where in the quarry do we need to go? Crap. We don't know where we need to go, go do we? Okay, so this is going to be a, a mission hunt. I'm tempted to go to this one. I don't know why. That means we got to go all the way down to this one. Yeah, I think that's what we do. Well, you know what? We can't sit here waiting all day, so let's, uh... You know what? I need to... I'm not gonna go that one. I don't know why. I, I'm changing my mind again. Hopefully I don't make a big mistake this time again. And, uh... I think I'm gonna go into the quarry where we usually go in. And this should take no time at all, because this truck is pretty fast. Uh, but I believe it takes damage pretty easily, so that's kind of the downside. But you know, that, that makes sense. Let's just do a little off-roading. <laughs> and there's that damage I was talking about. And some more damage. And some more damage. And I'm sure we'll get damaged here. Of course not. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, we will, uh, we'll go into the quarry where we normally go in and we'll, we'll see. I got a feeling we're, we're going to have to head to the south of the map. That's just what my gut's telling me. I'm not, I don't know for sure, but that's, that's kind of what I'm, uh, I'm led to believe. So, but, uh, yeah, anyways, let's, uh, get over there in record speed time. I don't know if it's me, but I like what happens if I put a highway transmission in this thing? Like, are we gonna be doing like 80, 90 miles an hour? Holy crap, like we're not gonna have suspension by the time we get over there. I mean I could slow down, but what's the fun in that, right? That's not very fun. Who wants to go slow? Well, in this game, you probably should go slow. Uh, especially here. Yep. Yeah, I, I almost rolled it there. That would have been um, devastating. And it definitely would have made for a longer episode. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can do half of this mission. We get, if we get lucky, we might be able to complete the whole mission. 
just because of the the amount of land or the amount of uh, distance this truck can travel in such a short period of time. Come on, there we go. We'll just leave it in low plots. Actually, high gear probably would work fine through here. Yeah, like with these tires, I, I, I'm hard pressed to find a tire um, better than this. But that's what my testing series is for. Which, I mean, I call it a testing series. I've done one video of testing, so I can't really say it's a series, not yet, anyways. But I will, uh, I will be doing a Tega test in Michigan, probably through that same mud puddle. And hopefully I'll be able to, uh... Find something out if the, uh... Flotation tires are better, or if the, uh... Or if the, uh... What is it? The MSH-4s? If they come on this truck. I'm not 100% sure. But if those are better... Uh, like they were for the uh, Azov. So, uh, personally, I think the the flotation tires are are the best tire. But I could be wrong. I mean, I could I could be uh, slowing us down and and taking more time to do things because I have the wrong tires on the truck. But then again, who knows? And there's some more damage. See, you just you get up above a certain speed, and then you just get damaged. So it's like stay in stay in third gear, and you won't get damaged. All right. So now we're in the quarry, or we will be shortly, as soon as it loads. I can't wait till the loading screens are done. I'm actually kind of shocked that there are loading screens. Because this should be the loading screen now, right? We have the technology to do this. Alright, so we're 0.65 miles away. Yeah. Why am I not surprised? So that right there is roughly... So anywhere in this general area... Is going to be the scanning point. Um, so I'm going to head straight down this road. I'm going to head here and try to figure out if we have to go south more or if we have to go west more. And speaking of west more. We got to hit the right button. We got to skip the morning, so. And we'll turn on the headlights just in case. Uh. This morning doesn't get very bright until the afternoon. I probably should just be skipping to afternoons. Uh, so yeah, we are. I'm going to get some fuel while we're here. We are heading down pretty fast. Now that we're heading west, we're not heading down at all, so... Yeah, I think we're going to want to be about where that's, uh... Ooh, crap, hold on. Yep. I had a feeling. I, I wish I could read Russian. I can't wait till we get back to English so that I can read the road signs. So that I don't have to constantly, constantly be checking the map, so... All right, we are 47 miles, 0.47 miles away, so half a mile. We've got a truck that is pretty unstoppable. Although now that I say that, I'm going to get stuck somewhere. Probably roll over right out of distance from a winch point. Although that doesn't really matter anyways, because if the truck stalls, then the, uh, the winch doesn't work, so... Ah! Okay, that was my fault. I had, a, I had a itch on my face. <laughs> Thought I could get it. I couldn't. Uh, 
Anyways. So yeah, we're down to 3-7. We're going down pretty quick if I head straight south. Yes. Yeah, I have a feeling that I wasn't too far off where I put that marker. Actually, I put the marker back there. Yeah, that's exactly where... <laughs> That, that's amazing, actually. That might be exactly where we need to go. And no, I did not look this up brief, uh, beforehand. I am I am never done this mission before. So I have no clue where we need to go, but... It makes sense. It looks like it was an old oil rig there. And uh, yeah, I mean, according to the, the little... I don't, I, I want to call it an advert, but a blur? No, uh, the, the little info we got, whatever you call that. Kind of made it sound like that would be the perfect spot for it, so. That's why I picked it. Anyways. I believe we gotta go left here. Okay, yeah, both those markers are doing the exact same thing. I am, I, I will not be shocked if uh, that is exactly where we need to go. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of impressed by that, so. It's kind of cool. Hi, <laughs> Bay. I don't know why, I never say that any other time in my life. Unless I'm recording. That is the only time I say that saying, and I'm not, I'm not Jewish. So, I don't know why it, 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 I want to say it every time I, uh, make a mistake and when I'm recording. Uh, we are going, I know there's stumps around here. I remember there being stumps. Yep, let's go down here. Yep, I nailed that perfectly. I am, I am pretty impressed by myself there. Um, let's start seismic vibrations. Oh wow, yeah. We destroyed that. Let me guess, yep. I had that feeling. Um, I did not have that feeling though. I didn't realize we had to pick up the oversized cargo from the shipwreck. Hmm. Hmm. Oversized cargo is four slots. If I had the right trailer, I could tug it behind here. I think I can. Maybe I can't. That ladder looks like it gets in the way. Uh, let's stop the engine here. We don't have any trucks in this area, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so let's, uh... Let's go ahead and get a new truck out. Why not, right? We, uh... We haven't used all of our vehicles, so why not? Let's, uh, let's try to get... <laughs> let's get another one out. Um, that one's not gonna do. Uh, let's go to truck storage. Hmm, the Tartra maybe? That's got the biggest tires. This is the Bandit. This is the one that... Yeah, let's, let's try this one. Because we, we tried this for a mission and I wasn't... I wasn't overly impressed with it. So we've got this engine, which drops the power down. Yeah, so I think we would keep that engine. We'll keep that. The tires... The tires, I think we have the right ones on here. 
Yeah, like, I just... It, no other tire seems to make sense besides that one. Um, that's all fine. That's all fine. Yeah, we just need to throw... I believe it's the low saddle. Yeah, let's throw the low saddle on it. Nope, oh, wait, what? What happened here? Low saddle, thank you. And yeah, let's go back. Go ahead and leave the garage. How fast is this truck? Is it better? Two. Go down this way. Come in that to, to that quarry. Which brings you to this entry point and then just drive around? Or should we just make the drive from here down? We have a trailer here we could pick up on the way down. I think that's going to be the best part. Let's try not to buy a, uh, whatchamacallit for this. Now we only have 40 gallons of fuel. So... We may, uh, we may regret this decision using this truck, but... It is, it is pretty quick. I'll give them that. Like, I almost feel like we could take this and just use this to turn. <laughs> if it was a little bit smoother, we could do it. I wish I could remember who suggested I use this truck. I, I think the only thing I don't like about it is the, uh, the 40 gallon capacity. Like, that really hurts it. The speed is good. It would kind of be interesting to see uh, which truck is faster. This or the uh, Tartra. Tar Tartra, yeah. I said that right. I think I said that right. I'm probably been saying it wrong this whole time. Um, or even the MK38, because that was the other truck that has these tires on it as well. Stop doing that. I'm gonna cause so much damage just driving this thing on asphalt. He's peppy though, I'll give you that. And it's uh it's turning radius is pretty it's pretty quick to respond to turning. Um, but jeez, does it take damage like crazy. Uh, let's actually go this way. Yeah, I knew I was going to hit that tree. But the good news is I do have repair points, so... The fact that I am carrying a spare tire and... Probably a couple hundred repair points and... And another 37 gallons, I think, of fuel. It's not bad. I, I like that they started giving trucks the ability to have add-ons for fuel or, or repair points or uh, tires even. So I think we're gonna, yeah, we should be coming up to a fuel station soon. So no worries there about fuel. It's gonna be kind of interesting to see how this handles a uh, trailer. We did briefly use this a couple episodes ago, but I wasn't overly impressed by it. And right now, with the amount of damage we're taking, I'm not overly impressed by that either, but... All trucks at this speed kind of take damage, so... 
it, it's not too surprising. I always think that we're really close to the end. <laughs> and then it's like this hill just keeps going up and up and up and up and up. And then we go down. And then there's the entry to the quarry. And I might need to find a repair truck. I'm already halfway through my suspension. Uh, let's see here. Let's go get some fuel. This has a snorkel on it, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So it can go through some water. A good, good fair amount. A fair amount of water, I should say. Alright, so let's fill that back up. And let's continue. We've gotta basically get to where we were going. I should have, I should have been smart. I should have brought this truck and uh, the Tartra together. That would have been smart because I knew, I knew I had to have the seismic, and I knew I was going to need to bring uh, the the oversized cargo to it. I didn't realize that I had to go out to the shipwreck. So, but yeah, that would have saved me at least I would say ten minutes. So yeah, kind of my fault there. So sorry, guys. I. Uh, I didn't really think that one through too much. Ooh, we took some damage on our uh, gas tank. That's that's pretty bad. Let's uh, let's actually do some repairs. We need 223. That's all of our all of our repair points. <laughs> and that only got us uh, three quarters of uh, our suspension. So yeah, that's um, that's not great, but hey, you know what? We had them to use them, so we might as well use them. And yeah, see, this is the weird part. This thing in mud, it's just, there's something about this thing going through mud that it just doesn't want to go through it. But uh, you know what? We'll, we'll give it another shot here, obviously. It is pretty quick, I'll give it that, on, on a straight line or on a paved road. But it does take a lot of damage, which isn't too surprising. But the, uh, the amazing thing is the steering response. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good for this game. It's nothing, nothing along the lines of, like, I don't know, uh, Gran Turismo 7. Or any, any actual racing game, for that matter. But, it is still pretty decent. So I gotta, I gotta give it props for that. suspension uh, yeah I guess I do go right all right and we'll sneak right through here like we did before and the best part is, is we get to go pick up oh oh um, okay. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. <laughs> All right, well, good news. The take is right here. 
So this should get us right back on our feet. Um, I'm not not gonna lie. I almost thought about crying there for a second. Oops. Uh, because yeah, I totally thought we were gonna have to bring another vehicle to uh, to res rescue us, but we're safe. We're good. Okay, let's stop this engine. Let's change trucks. Let's get back on the road, shall we? would be one oh there is a repaired vehicle here i don't know if this can hook up to it though there's your million dollar question unless the winch oh yeah the winch is there so it might it might attach to it nice there we go let's repair and we'll just do everything And I can't, like, that part's a bummer. I can't use the suspension, or I can't refill my, my trunk repair supply using this trailer. Um, but you know what? I'm happy with that. That's, that's pretty good. What is this task? Rogue connection. This is the one that I was missing, wasn't it? It was, sure enough. Uh, let's actually double check. Radio off active fossils, we haven't done yet. I know that much. Uh, Cory, Cory, Cory. Oil Yeah, I can't even speak. Oil rig restoration. Oh, sorry, that's why. It's not contracts, it's tasks that I was wanted. Um... The road connections there. Okay, we still need to find settling in. Oh, there's so many of them. I'm sure they're slowly unlocking. So, anyways, I don't. I don't know why. Ooh, why did I not turn off the uh, truck there? That was uh, that was bad on my part. I I don't know exactly how many gallons of fuel I wasted, but you know what? What we'll do is we will grab. Some fuel out of the Tega. Uh, let's attach trailer. Okay, we're good to go to pick up. I hope we don't need a crane. I really hope we don't need a crane. <laughs> if we do, I should have thrown one on here. You know what? We'll, we'll figure that out. I don't think we do. I think there's a... a loading spot down by the uh, ship if I don't remember correctly and uh, yeah let's refuel Wait, there we go we stole some fuel let's get on the road uh, let's actually plan this out we're gonna want to go here and then drive to here no, you know what? Let's go here. Let's go through here and then to there. All right, so we're we're pretty safe there. I'm gonna cut through here, but I am going to pay attention to where the stumps are, and we're good. Yay! <laughs> What do we got so far? We've got just a whiny dirt road. Yeah, see, like these tires are great on a dirt road. They're good in uh, light mud. Feet mud. Mm, there might be a better tire for this truck, uh, but I could be wrong. I wouldn't be surprised if I was wrong. All right, and uh, yeah. This is where it's going to get interesting. I 
think if we just go on a high and we just go for it. I like the oil slick on the uh, the water, but they could have made it so it spread out more. Ah, uh, but then again, I'm talking real engine five graphic capabilities, not some, um, not whatever engine they use for the game. I'm actually not quite sure what engine they use. Can't imagine them using an engine that wasn't, um, that's kind of like their own one-off engine. Yeah, I found that, uh, upgrade, didn't I? Yeah, I, I must have found that upgrade. I feel like I did. Uh, I just, I don't know. Does it tell me? I mean, that's not much of a gauge, is it? Yeah, I wish the gauges, like, I don't... They could have had the gauges go from 0 to 40. And not really have it that big of a difference. Because, like, there's no way any of these trucks are doing 80, 100, 120. Unless they can, can pick up when it's flying off a cliff. That's about the only time I think that it will uh, go that fast. Like, I'm, I don't think there's really that big of a difference in what gear I pick to get through here. Nope, that was all behind me. Alright, that's kind of the side of me, that's fine. That should help us get at least out of the water. Not to mention it gives us a lot more trees to pick from. Go back into that mode and... There we go. We don't need to be spending 10 minutes trying to get through a mud puddle. Um, give me that grass that gives some grip. There we go. Alright, so we're getting a little closer. We're almost there. Okay, so let's go to the left. Let's use the shoulder as much as we can to avoid going in the mud. This is, that's probably the first type of mud that looks more like sand. Uh, I'm sure you guys have probably come across it before where it looks like it's sand and then you step in it and it's just pure mud. Anyways, the, to me that's what it looks like. Alright, so we can go, we'll go up this way, try to stay out of this mud as best as we can. But I mean, sometimes there's no avoiding it, so. And uh, yeah, I just noticed the time, so we've got about a minute, and, uh, less than a minute, about a minute, I should say. Um, so let's go ahead and we will... Get this truck over there, we'll get it loaded up. And uh, we'll get it ready for its return trip, which, we'll, we'll, which we will do in the next episode, so... Well, turns out I did not make um, a too big of a mistake. There was, there was a couple mistakes, but nothing massive. Nothing that uh, I didn't recover quite easily from, so that's good. I always, I always love when uh, you get those mistakes that just absolutely ruin your game. I don't know how to turn around. I'm definitely going to turn around before we get weight and cargo put in. 
Because this looks like absolutely nothing but slop. Oops. I don't even think I should be down here right now. Alright, that's probably good enough. And that should get, allow us to turn around. There we go. The, uh, the mud around here is pretty bad. <laughs> Almost not the direction I want to go. No, I want that tree. Thank you. I think it was trying to tell me that I wasn't in range of that tree. And I'm like, I know I am. Okay, so this, this is going to be a struggle for sure. I'm glad there's a stump there though. The, the one time that I'm glad to see a stump. As long as I don't center myself on it. Alright, so I'm going to leave us right about here. Uh, I don't want to leave right yet. This truck is just going to sink. Let's get on the grass first. Can we actually go around the stone? Ah, uh, there we go. That's the tree I wanted. I think we can, I think we can use the stone for our advantage. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best route to take, but. Definitely is a route to take, so. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um. Oh, I don't have room there. Uh, let's attach the winch. No, no, oh my god, that was so close. Okay, I try to use this rock to my advantage. Um, it is not working too well. Come on, tree. Is this tree just going to move out of my way? Okay, there we go. Alright. Enough trees. Okay. Okay. This is getting a little ridiculous here, guys. Um, as you can tell, I just completely stopped breathing altogether. Feels like I'm hung up on something. There we go. Alright. You know what? That was, um... That was ridiculous. <laughs> like, oh my god. Did you guys see half of those? I had almost, what, three rollovers? At least. If not four. All because I wanted to make sure that I started this on solid ground for the next mission, or for the next episode. I, I couldn't believe that. Um, 
Okay, so I'm going to stop it right here. Uh, mainly because... Yeah, I can't go on anymore. <laughs> I just can't do it anymore. So let's stop the engine because we are kind of low on grass, but or grass. We're low on gas, and uh, yeah, we only have 37 gallons left. So I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the extreme nail biter at the end there. Like, holy crap! Like, I just stopped commentating because I was in such shock. I was just, I was just waiting for that moment to where you heard, I guess what is, is the, uh, straps breaking and the cargo falling off the trailer. Cause that can happen even though you don't roll the actual truck or roll the trailer if the straps break away, the cargo can go tumbling. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, it was a nail biter at the end there. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because I'm trying to get to 500 uh, that is my my ultimate goal right now for the moment is to get to 500 so uh, we're we're almost halfway there uh, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, we will see you in the next one bye for now